Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Athenlido for the end of season 14 review. So, um, as you know, if you've seen the other last past ones, we lost. We bloody lost the final. It's bloody Newcastle. But we're well, here to take you through the rest of the league, so we can go through that without a bit, of, without the disappointment um, of that final. So, first game in was our league match versus Bangor City. And we smashed them 7-0, actually. Diara got four. Slavica got another hat-trick there, which was pretty good. Sparta Praha was our 2-1 win. Slavica and Bamba with goals um, away. Then have a West 4-2. Diara, Koric, and Slavica got two. Two former youth players scoring against me, Daniel Fowler and Vince Rees. Uh, so I'm starting to see the revenge of the, these former youth players coming back now. And then we got that 4-0 win over Sparta Praha. Um, Bamba with three and Vieira with one there. TNS was the 3-1 win away. Russell Lewin, Dom Chanich and Vieira. 0-0 versus Ton Pentra. Really, really annoying. Um, we just didn't score. As for you, it's just one of those things. Look at that. 34 shots, 13 on target. Only one clear-cut chance, but 66% possession. You would have thought we would have won. But we drew nil nil, so it's really annoying. Not a thirty two win at a thirty two season this year again. Um if we can go back, there we go. Um so after that was our Welsh Cup quarter final and this is, went to extra time actually. Somehow it went to extra time. Uh Sean Kelly got a, a goal for us, and then they scored seventy ninth minute. Then Tony Chalmers made it uh two one in the extra time. They had a player sent off. Sam Dale, a youth player, brought in, made it um, made it 3-1. And then Sari Thomas, 117th minute, made it 4-1 to make it look a lot easier than it was. So after that was our 3-2 win over Everton. Um, Bamba, Vieira and Roster Lewin with that last gasp winner um, to actually take us through the entire tie. Without that goal, we wouldn't have got through. So thank God for that. Between that and the second Everton game was a 6-0 win over Abba. The four for Bamba, one for Veselinovic, and Slavica got one there. Then we had our 1-1 draw with uh, Everton. Bamba with our goal with Seri Thomas getting sent off. Um, but we got through to the quarterfinal. Bangor City was a 2-1 win. Bamba and Vieira with goals. 6-2 win over Half West. Um, Tom Chanich, Santa Maria, Slavica with two. An own goal and Vieira. So very good overall there. Um... 5-1 win over TNS, which was really good. Bamba, Dom Chanich with a hat-trick this time, with a sort of 14-minute hat-trick, which was pretty good, and Galabov. 6-0 win again against TNS. We played him two times in a row and scored 11 goals. Slavica, this time with a hat-trick. The other side with a hat-trick. The other Croatian with a hat-trick now. Bamba, Bar, and Thomas. Then we had our... Uh, Euro Cup quarter-final versus Benfica. A 2-2 draw away. Santa Maria and that own goal. 3-1 uh, over Abba between that. Bamba with 2 and Torton. And then our 3-1 win over Benfica in the uh, home leg. Vieira and Bamba with 2. Then on to the game that got missed. This bloody game. I bloody recorded the entire thing. And my bloody mic was on mute. I was blo oh, so fucking annoying. Taking the lead through Vieira. Then equalising. Then going up 2-1. Bringing it back to 2-2. Then taking it 3-2. Then Ross making it 3-3 and Slavica in the 89th minute, coming on for as a sub for Vieira, making it 4-3. I even, I was calling it, I was going, I was like, oh, what a substitution, I've done it. Like, I was so happy that I brought off Vieira, because normally I'd never take Vieira off to put um, Slavica on, because as good as Slav Slavica is, Vieira is normally a lot better. But this time, I, just, Slavica's had such a good season, I thought that he could come on and do it, and he did it. And it's just so... So demoralising that didn't get saved because then the bloody live call I did do was a one nil loss, uh, but we still went through on away goals. Between that, we had a nine nil, a nine nil Welsh Cup final win. So that's the biggest Welsh Cup final win we've had. Uh, Vieira with a hat trick, Bamba with four, Kovacic, and then Slovaka with a goal right at the end. Four nil in the last league game over Tom Pentra, and then we had our Euro Cup final versus. Newcastle, which we lost 3-2. Bamba and Slavica with goals for us, and Jamie Lamb and Matthew Dowes with their goals. So, so disappointing. We lose the Euro Cup final. We could have won a European trophy. So we were so, so close, but we didn't. 
So that's the way it is, unfortunately. Sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. But we'll see how we can do next year. I think that might be our only win time to win the Europa League because I think we'll get through the Champions League next year. I hope at least if we get a good group stage. But this is the... Uh, I'll take you through the, the Premier League first, not the squad. Um, overall in the league, we did well again. Um, we got 31 wins, 1 draw, 112 goals, 4, 16 against. Um, Tom Pentra came second this year. And Banger City came third, and then TNS came fourth. I don't know what happened to them this year. They just kept losing. Real and Carmathen go down. Lundo actually just missed a drop there um, by one point. But very odd to see TNS down in fourth. Um, award winners, Marriage of the Year. Can you guess who it is? Yes, it is me for the 11th year in a row. So that's good for me again. Uh, Player of the Year went to Slavica who I definitely thought he deserved it. 22 appearances, 15 goals, 7 assists, 7.7 .7 average rating at 19. Very, very good there. Team of the season, somehow. So, uh, player of the year. Slavica, right winger. Uh, but uh, I will Burrow, who got 3 goals and 26 appearances with a 6.86 average rating. The lowest average rating in the entire squad, apart from Blackwell, who got the same. Um, Slavica's not in it. I d just it does not make sense, FM. Why do you do this? DR and Santa Maria got in, and Pitas and Corin got in. Uh, Josh Sampson, former youth player, getting in for TNS as a goalkeeper. Um, so that's quite good, I guess. But just doesn't make sense. Squad-wise, Bamba destroyed it this year. Look at that. He is just coming into his prime. 43 goals in 41 games with 15 assists. Worth 2.4 million uh, now. But he just, he's ridiculous how many goals he gets. He smashes it. Even in the, in the league, look at that. 16 goals in 16 games in the league. Why wasn't he up top? It doesn't make sense. Uh, Slavica, there though. Look at Slavica. 28 goals in 24 starts. And 12 sub-appearances with 8 assists. His first year, he smashed it even better than bloody Don Chanich did. Vieira, 27 goals in 36. Um... Vincent Diara got 22 in 14. Dom Chanich got 15 in 38. Eunice Barr got 9. Assist-wise, um, Vera got 22. Bamba got 15. Dom Chanich got 14. Chalmers got 14. Barr got 12. Pitas did very well. 11 for him. Ross Loon got 9. Klavik got 8. Uh, Galibov got 7. And the rest of it. So very good overall. Average rating-wise, uh, Pitas did very well. 27 appearances, 7.84. He's gone very much under the radar because we've got all these... Good attack is coming through, but Pitas, he's he's really come into it. He's sort of decided he's nearly going to be taking the um, Champions League spot from Barakis at this rate, and only for 32k. So very very good there in that um, sense. Um, but yeah, just it's pretty good. We got all we got our Croatians doing really well, um, and then our Cameroonian and Portuguese as well up front. Um, if we look at what is it there to look at, we've got more youth facilities coming through. Financially wise, doing well, 19 million in the bank. Um, inbox, if we look at the inbox, where is it? Um, no, there's more bids for, look, we're getting so many bids for players. Um, we retain top spot in Wales again. We have 1.1 million in sponsorships out of the 4.2 million left. Um, if we look at the actually Premier League, we've jumped up again from we've gone 48th to 38th to 34th now, so very good stuff by that. Uh, if we look at Wales itself, um, in the club, co oh, if we look at Europe actually, um, and then we look at the national club coefficients, we are now in 13th. We jumped up a shit ton there because. Um, Getting into the coefficients there, we did well with 8.5. So we're actually moving up um, qualification places. We now have one in the best place qualifying, one in the um, like Champions League qualifying third. So I missed that second round. And then we got two in the third qualifying for Europa and one in the uh, second round qualifying for Europa. So that's very good making progress, finally. Uh, if we look at clubs, coefficients, um, I did really well with that. I'm up to 22nd. 22nd, because getting to the Euro Cup final is better than getting to a quarter final of the Champions League, it seems. 26.7 for that. Maybe I should just throw the Champions League and go to the Europa League final every time, it seems. Um, but yeah, so up to 22nd on that. Very good there. 
Uh, youth team wise, um, don't think we got anyone of actually any substantial value coming through. Um, I uh, got a young player called David Owen, who's quite good, a good young attacking midfielder. Don't know how well he'll do, depends on uh, whether he gets any chances or not. And then also um, Jordan Morgan, who's young centre mid. Not nothing, nothing particular or special. Nothing like a Torton really. Um, but we'll see how things go, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think generally. Oh wait, transfers. Uh, not transfers. Loans. Um, so loan wise, we had our players out on loan, like our sort of work permits. Leo Fuentes, he scored thirty, uh, twenty-two game in. Uh, he scored twenty-two goals in thirty-six games for Colne. Colne, bloody um. There we go. They got relegated, and he was third top scorer in the league. I, I just I want that work permit so badly for him, but he hasn't got it yet. So he's going to go out on loan next year, hopefully, and see what happens. Akuzi, 7.23 uh, average rating. Really, really good there. Juan Carlos Ibarra didn't do as well there. Um, he got 4-4 four and four in 24 games. That doesn't do as well, but still, we'll see how things go. But very, very good from Leo Fuentes. I just... He's so, so good. Look at the stats. He got relegated. And was he in German team? Uh, he was the third top goal scorer. So he's worth 3.4 million as well. So we'll see how things go with him. But yeah, so I think that is it uh, for this year. Um, got the disappointment of that Euro Cup final, but we've actually made it into a final. So I guess that's something. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back next time for season 15 um but yeah i'll see you guys next time